Saracen's defence wrong-footed, doesn't happen that often. Bresler couldn't grab it, Shevon could, and look at the pass! Another chance, Evan wins in the corner, he's done it! Two tries for Charlie Watson in the opening 17 minutes. Hi, uh, I'm Charlie Watson, I'm a second year doing natural sciences at Cambridge, um, and I'm also in my third year of professional rugby at Saracen's. Sick. Uh, so I'll jump straight in and ask you, what was your interview like? My interview? Yeah. Oh, it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. Um, no, so I had I had three interviews. Okay. Um, the first one like, was, a, was worryingly nice, but I remember coming out of it thinking, actually, I'd said nothing productive then, <laughs> but I, they made me feel good about myself. And then the second one, I had like this notorious supervisor, mm -hmm. um, and he was quite intense. Um, and yeah, that was a tough one, really pushed me to the limits, but I guess that's what they want to see. Um, and then my third one went really well, so I guess that's where I saved it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't my favourite day, but it was it was a great achievement. I felt great after, even if I didn't get in. I knew that like, I'd achieved something there. So that's good. And how did you prepare for it? Um, how did I prepare? I remember reading lots of textbooks. Okay, like just skimming. Textbooks? Uh, no, like higher grade stuff. But I would just skim through them and find things that I'm interested in. Mm. I didn't focus too much on stuff I didn't care about. Mm. Um, and I did some work experience as well, mm -hmm. which I focused a lot of the questions were about that in my interview. Mm -hmm. um, that was at a cancer research lab. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I do? Uh, <laughs> that was about it, I reckon. Just lots of reading. Okay, that's quite good. And what kind of stuff was in your personal statement? <sighs> Testing me now. <laughs> um, I would say I, I spoke about my uh, work experience. Um, I didn't actually mention rugby really because I thought that would deter them from me. Um, I literally mentioned it in one line at the bottom. Other than that, I just said how amazing I am. You know, <laughs> <laughs> joking. Um, nah, it's a, it's kind of a weird experience to try and you're trying to sell yourself um, mm. without sounding arrogant. Mm. Um, but no, I spoke about my work experience a lot um, mm. and actually a project at your school. Yeah, <laughs> I just mentioned that. Oh yeah, I tried like to claim that. <laughs> So Charlie and I both live in Canterbury. Yeah, the alma mater. <laughs> what A-levels did you take and what was your offer? Um, I took biology, chemistry, maths and geography mm -hmm. in the hope that they wouldn't offer me four and I'd only get offered three, yeah. but they offered me four. So I got <laughs> offered two A stars, an A and a B. Okay. And they specified the B in geography. So I'm guessing they just wanted to tick the box that I could do geography as well. There That's we interesting they cared about geography because I thought they might not care. Yeah, so did I. I was hoping that because mm. I did an AS in it and I thought mm. I could show then that I, I can do geography. Yeah. Um, but they, they wanted me to carry it through. Interesting. They didn't care about one of my A-levels, uh, which is language one, so that wasn't in my offer. Oh, there we go. That's because you went to a grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, so tell us about which modules you're doing at Cambridge as part of your degree. Um, so I'm a bionatsky and this year I'm taking plants and microbial sciences as well as ecology um, and physiology. Those are my three. And how are you finding that? Um, it's, it's the classic Cambridge answers. It's tough, um, but no, I do, I'm, I'm still interested in it and I really do enjoy it. Um, but yeah, you, it does test you, especially time management, but no, I really do enjoy it. You're at Selwyn College. Um, not many people know about that college before they applied. I didn't really know about Selwyn. Uh, so why did you choose it? Um, so I remember walking around. Um, I got a feel for all the colleges. And I liked the fact that it wasn't right in the middle of town. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I felt like it would give a bit of an escape after lectures. And also it's literally 50 metres away from the rugby pitch. So mm -hmm. I thought I'd cut my travel time down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I liked the location a lot and the fact that all of the accommodations in one area mm -hmm. so there's no spacing out so you see all your friends like every day so mm -hmm. those are my main reasons okay so you'd recommend it to people who are looking for a college definitely someone's the best college <laughs> as everyone would say about their own college yeah so, someone genuinely is the best college okay that's good that's good do you have any study tips you can give um i would say try and stay in the fight as long as you can um so try and stay on top of your work it's, it's almost impossible to go the full eight weeks staying on top of everything but 
the longer you stay on it, the worse. I mean, the better the pain is at the end, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, that's sort of damage limitation. Um, what else? I'd say you don't really need to write notes when you get to uni. Uh, quite a controversial opinion, but okay. I find that there's already good lecture notes, especially for sciences, um, and so just use them. Mm. But I know that it's very controversial. I've got some bad news for you. Uh, in third year, often they don't have lecture notes. Half my lectures okay. have no notes. They're literally just slides. Uh, so in third year, you have to really do your own work, which is that's different. different. I mean, yeah. I mean like revision notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say just redo the the lecture stuff they give you. But obviously, third year is a different kettle of fish. Um, and you took a gap year, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, why did you do that and like, what did you do? So I, so I didn't know about anything about rugby would happen. Um, so I got my offer from Cambridge and then a couple of months later found out that I'd been offered a contract as well. Um, and the contract was a full-time year. So I just called up Cambridge and begged basically and said, can I please defer so I can do this one year? Because my, my contract was only one year. Yeah. Um, so they let me luckily do the year year off um, and so I played rugby for the year mm -hmm. and then luckily got another one but to do it part time the contract part time while mm -hmm. I could do uni full time at the same time How was the full time year of rugby? Um, it was definitely eye opening um, I, I think I matured a lot in that year mm -hmm. um, because it was basically I was forced into leaving the nest as they say Yeah. Um, it's very different to uni and so the, a lot of these guys don't have anything other than rugby so I found it's a very different type of people you're talking with, yeah. um, but no, I, I did love it. It's, it's like I'm, I'm in a professional environment, so it's amazing mm -hmm. playing that that level of sport. Mm -hmm. um, and I also got a month off in that year where I got to go travelling, so it wasn't all work. Mm -hmm. So no, it, it was a good year. That's cool. So obviously rugby is a big part of your life. How long have you been playing rugby? Uh, I think I started playing when I was seven mm -hmm. in Canterbury, just yeah. playing local. Um, and yeah, I haven't stopped since really. I loved it. I, w I wanted to play football because my, my dad and my granddad and my great granddad, they were all football. They were all footballers oh, wow. back in the day. So mm. I thought I'd try that, but mm. dad didn't want it anymore. He wanted to change the scene. <laughs> so he took me along to rugby and that went from there. Loved it ever since. That's really cool. And how would you say you get into professional rugby? <sighs> um, well, this it's not like football for sure there's loads of different routes nowadays because mm. it's obviously a physical sport so people deve develop at different rates mm. um, so it's never too late I'd say um, but my route was kind of the the common way in which is you play club level from club you get picked to play county level and then get picked up picked up by an academy so that's how I got into it um, but people can play national league men's rugby and then just climb the leagues in that way yeah. which is different to football where you sort of have to be in academy from the age of seven or something and yeah. otherwise you don't have a chance one thing i'm really interested in is how do you manage to balance rugby right now and studying at cambridge um i'd say it's a lot of time management mm -hmm. so like i said you've got to try and stay in the fight for as long as you can in the term and for me, that I have to live by that because I don't get that time in the holidays because mm -hmm. I've got to go straight back to work. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I find getting as much done in the term as I can mm -hmm. whilst obviously enjoying Cambridge as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but then obviously I also have to work. So Christmas last year was quite a very busy time because yeah. it's full time training and it's yeah. dark, so it's miserable anyway. And then having to go and sit in my room and do some studying for exams. Um, so yeah, it's not easy, you can't lie, there's no magic way of doing it, it's kind of just gritting your teeth and head yeah. down. What's your favourite rugby memory or experience? Um, I've got a couple probably, but my last year winning the Premiership Sevens mm -hmm. for Saris was amazing because we were all, we didn't do any training for it, it was just like it was the best day ever and we played Wasps in the final and I remember we went two tries down, they were celebrating like they'd won. Um, and it's only short games, so two tries means a lot. Um, and then we came back and won. So it was just it was a good celebration after. Other than that, I would say, not, not me personally playing, but the European Cup final in my first year at Saris, when in Newcastle. The atmosphere after that was just incredible. It was like the best party ever. It was, it was so good. <laughs> that sounds really fun. Yeah.
And uh, right now you play for Cambridge University Rugby Club as well, don't you? Yeah. How do you get into that? Um, so we're a really inclusive club at Cambridge, so you can literally just rock up to training. Mm -hmm. um, and we cater for all standards, really. And the more players, the better. So you're never going to be turned down if you want to come train. Mm. So, yeah, you can just rock up, message the coach, or ask someone who's playing already, and he can get you involved straight away. Mm -hmm. 